Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines. Just want to show you how to operate a John Deere E120 and all the controls it has on it. First, I want to come over and show you that um, it's a hydrostatically driven tractor, which means we have, on this one, we have two pedals. One we have forward and one we have reverse. Controls up top, we have your PTO lever. This is actually a manual PTO engagement lever, so you just flip it forward and that locks it into the on position. Flip it back. It always has to be in an off position or the tractor will not start. This little knob right here is actually a cruise control knob. I'll show you how to operate that. Of course, you have your ignition switch, um, lights here. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that you have to turn the key back one after the tractor is started to get the lights to work. So after you start the tractor up, you turn the key back one notch and it will have your lights show up. This one here has a uh, an hour meter and it's always good to have an hour meter as far as a uh, your oil changes and, and you can uh, you can figure out how many uh, hours is on the machine as far as your maintenance throttle over here okay and you have up top here where it, it's actually got a little cold uh, thermostat here that's uh, for cold starts of course you have full speed and of course slow is the turtle you have this button here is for a reverse lockout so you can actually cut and reverse and let me get on the tractor and I'll show you how to start her up one other handle I missed is the uh, blade up up and down knob, which is on the other side of the tractor. Okay, so this is how we adjust your deck height, all right? And that just adjusts the mower deck up and down. Let's get it to where your desired position is in your grass and you're good. And last but not least, we have the brake pedal here. The brake pedal must be fully depressed and engaged before you can start the tractor also. This lever here is a parking brake and it's if you want to use the parking brake which a lot of times I do push the brake pedal all the way in pull this lever up and you'll feel it you sometimes you got to push pretty hard but you'll feel it lock in let go of the parking brake pedal and then away you go now as far as getting this off push the pedal in again hard push this down let go and you'll be able to get mowing all right so I'm going to lock it in for starting purposes and then you're going to come up to your throttle position and you're going to go all the way up on full start it up Stop the tractor so you can hear what I'm talking about. But when you engage the blades, all right. So let's say I'm cutting the grass right now. Okay, the blades engaged, and you want to cut in reverse. As soon as I hit this pedal right now in reverse, it's going to shut the blades down. I'm going to show you that, um, but I just want to talk about it first. What you can do is on the left side of your steering wheel, there's actually a, it's a blade. This is a safety switch you can actually push. When you're about ready to go into reverse, push this button down, then hit the reverse pedal while the button is held down and you'll be able to cut in reverse. Once you're in reverse, you can actually take your finger off of this button. Once you're in reverse, you can take your finger off the button and it will stay cutting in reverse. Once you go forward again, then it will automatically take that out of the loop again. And when you hit reverse, you will stop it will stop the engine again unless you put your finger on that button. So basically, before you go into reverse with the mower deck on, hit this button and you can cut in reverse. All right, so you hold the button down and you will be able to cut in reverse. If you don't have that button held down, it will not. It will, it will basically just cut off the engine. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So you disengage, I'm gonna disengage the mower deck. I'm gonna start it up. I'm gonna engage the mower deck and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna try to get this call on video on how it works.
first, but I think you guys will get it. I think you guys will get that. I don't know if you could hear that over the uh, noise of the engine in the mower deck, but basically you just have to remember that if you do want to go in reverse, before you hit the reverse pedal, just push this button in and hold it down. And as soon as you get into reverse and you're going in reverse, you can let go of the button and it will allow you to go. Now, as far as the, um, there's that knob on the right hand side where the cruise control, all right? If you're mowing, let's just say you're mowing forward and, you're, and you wanna just leave it at one speed. You have the pedal down, you're mowing forward, you're gonna pull this up in the lock position, let go of the pedal, and what it does is it actually stops your pedal from coming back. Now, that to some people can be kind of scary because you don't have control, but I'm pretty sure if you hit your brake, it unlocks it, which it does. All right, so if you're in the cruise position and you have it locked in the cruise position, and you can lock that at different speeds, just remember when you hit your brake pedal on the left hand side here it'll actually unlock this so it does have a cruise control it's pretty nice for people who have a lot of ground to cover and i definitely uh would recommend that if you have acres and acres or something i mean that's a pretty that's a large amount of grass to cover this small tractor but it is a nice little feature and then the other thing i wanted to show you too was um okay we'll do the headlights uh, because i didn't show you guys that when you start the tractor up you're going to start it up and the key will be in this one position it'll be in the engine position Let's just say you run out of gas and you have to push a tractor or something happens to the tractor and you have to push the tractor. What you can do is you go, up the tractor, you go around to the back of your tractor, right above your hitch. This, and they have a little diagram here. This is the release valve, the release rod for the valve on the hydro transmission. So what you can do is with the parking brake in the off position, pull this rod all the way out. It'll come out about four inches. And now you can push the tractor real easy. All right. When it's in the lock position, the hydrostatic is locked in and now it doesn't roll very easily at all. And actually you should not push the tractor while it's in the engaged position. So remember that if you do have to push the tractor, pull the rod all the way out. You can push the tractor nice and easily that way if you have any issues with it. Just make sure you remember to put it in. A lot of people forget to put the rod in and they get on the tractor and they go to move the forward and reverse button uh, pedals and it doesn't go. So that's pretty much it for operating the tractor. I think I covered everything. If you have any questions, give me a shout. Uh, if you like the uh, video, please give it the thumbs up. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.